Good morning everyone and welcome to our Facebook Live for our January releases. We're really excited for this release. Uh, we're getting prepped ready for um, Creativation where we'll be exhibiting this weekend and uh, I'll be flying over there and showing all of our new releases. But before we do that, before I pack up all of our samples, I just wanted to share with you today our new stamps and some new uh, samples that I've been creating with those stamps. And we've also got some new stencils that are coming out and I want to show you a little demo towards the end of the video. So um, I haven't given you any notice on this uh, Facebook Live because I wasn't sure if I'd get everything ready and prepped in time, but um, we're here. So hopefully a few of, all, a few of you will jump in and uh, say a quick hello. So if you are watching, just give us a quick shout out and say g'day so that I know that uh, yeah, all of this is working and that you can hear me okay. Um, but... If you are heading into Creativation, uh, if you're you know, heading there this weekend, please uh, drop by our booth. We're at number 835, which is in the new exhibitor section. Uh, this is our first time exhibiting at Creativation. I've been there um, a number of years now, uh, just you know, walking the show and meeting people sort of around the show. But this time, it's, I thought it's time for us to actually have a booth so you can all drop by and, uh, and see what we've got going on. And I'll be doing live demonstrations every day. Um, myself and uh, Susie McGettigan, who'll also be doing some demonstrations for us. So we'll be using uh, all of the new stamps throughout the weekend. And we'll also be using some of the new uh, Ranger product as well that uh, they're um, bringing out so I've got some of that to uh, to show you on the booth and show you how that all works with our new stamps so I'm gonna flip the camera around and then I'll get into showing you the new stamps and what we can do with them so bear with me just for a sec while I move this tripod up Zooming in there. So these are just the new stamp sets. I'm just going to check that lighting's okay. It feels like it's a little bit out, but no, that's okay. All right, so, so there's our new stamp sets. And we've got four new stamp sets. Uh, we've got a butterfly script. I've done some, um, like, basically two different uh, series in this uh, this release. So I've got the two uh, script stamps. So they're butterfly script and a botanical script. And they are sort of like collage stamps. So each design will have um, a mix-up of, you know, butterflies and script, obviously. So, yeah, I just want to check that lighting. It just seems really... Let me move this up a bit so I can see a bit better. There we go. All right. So we've got the butterfly script here and we've got, so we've got two different stamps plus we've got the um, two big quotes in there. So I wanted, to, I've really enjoyed this quote. I really love this quote and I wanted to do it uh, so that it's quite large. And so that means you can actually make that as a feature on a card or you can put it inside a card as well. Um, and then on this one here, I've got some smaller quotes. Uh, so let life's simple pleasures fill your heart with joy. Plant dreams, pull weeds and grow a happy life. Today's little moments become tomorrow's wonderful memories. And then this one here, which is just one sort of uh, single quote. Let us be grateful to the people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. So they go really nicely with the, uh, with the flower stamps. And then these ones here, um, we've, uh, we often get requests for more uh, paint brushes. Now we've done quite a lot of paint brushes and um, paint tubes and things in the past, but most of them have been on, uh, we've got the little eclectic, paint brushes stamp set and those paint brushes are quite little they're probably only about that big so we've had some requests for some really large paint brushes and on the cover these covers are only sort of shown at 85 percent of the actual size but in the back here you can see just how big these brushes are and so i cut them out individually you can you know leave it as one but because of the fan brush i think it's better just to cut them out individually 
And let me just give you a reference here. So these would be really great sort of like on, you know, art journal pages. You can see how large they are to be able to, you know, make really cool borders or make them quite a bit of a feature on there. You can obviously use them for card making and any of your other projects. Now, let me just squeeze that back in there. And we've got some cool quotes for those as well. So, um, you know, life is a great big canvas, throw all the paint you can on it. Um, and then this one, make each day your masterpiece. So you can mix and match these in um, with each other to create all sorts of fun things. So here's some samples that I've done. Now, all of these are basically um, using the same uh, technique for these two. And I've just colored these up with distress markers. So I'll give you a bit of a closer look there. And um, so I've just done distress markers straight onto, well, I've stamped it onto specialty stamping paper and then just colored them up with distress markers. Nice, really quick and easy and fun way uh, to colour up those stamps. Of course, you could use anything. You could use crayons or um, Copics or any other way to colour them in. Watercolouring techniques um, with watercolours that would also look really cool. And these ones, here's a couple of cards I've done using these stamps. And this little, um, I don't know if you can see that, the little brush stroke just a tiny little brush stroke and all I've done with this is just stamped it in different colored inks to create that really sort of you know wash background and then the large paint brush and I've just added some paint down the bottom there just to make it look like it's been dipped in paint and this one here this one's I really love this stamp with all the brushes in the jar I'm pretty sure that a lot of us have got that sitting on our craft desk and I've just um, used a I uh, created a background here that was using uh, Distress Oxide inks onto specialty stamping paper and then just cutting out those stamps and colouring those in. So there's a couple of, um, yeah, four new stamp sets. Lots of fun different ways you can use them. Okay, now next, moving on to our backgrounds uh, sorry border stamps and we've got four new border stamps and these ones if you've not seen the border stamps before you can see how large they are see my arm here they go halfway up my arm there but uh, these are designed they're a little bit longer than uh, 12 inch so they're perfect for scrapbook pages or down the sides of or along the cross uh, the pages of art journals. Now, I don't have, let me just grab a, an art journal, I'll show you what I mean. So, Dilusions Journal, let me just open up here. And so you can see here how that will cover the entire edge of a journal page. Now, this particular vine stamp, I really wanted something that was, um, you know, some greenery, but instead of you know, always having it as a border. This one here, you can stamp it and create your own uh, garden, I guess, of, um, of vines. And I've done that on another page. Let me just put that back. I have to find which journal we're talking about. Here we are. So you can see this vine stamp here. All I've done here is just stamped it a couple of times. And then that's you know basically a really nicely easy finished page but you can color it i've just stamped that in black onto the craft but you could color that up um, with lots of different you know mediums and uh, you could also use like a crayon resist technique if you really wanted it to sort of stick out and then sponge around the back um, so that's a really fun one the sea uh, the seashells one i love this one i love anything with a seaside sort of theme onto it and um and it um, yeah, again, that could be great with a resist technique. Uh, and you also don't have to use them just for borders. You could just stamp that down like a section of it and to create cards. Um, you can also stamp across the bottom. So if you wanted to stamp across this way, it doesn't quite reach across two pages, but you could easily just stamp that side and then stamp that side um, or across the middle. Stamp it onto tissue paper and then 
you know, adhere it back in. There's so many different ways. And this Cogs one, this one's really cool. I was mucking around with that in here. Here we go. And I really wanted to give it a real grungy look. So I was stamping it with um, uh, some really thick embossing powders. And I'll try and give you a close-up. See if you can really see that. So you can see there the um, just the texture you can get. So that's that's really fun. I mean, it's got uh, if you just stamped it straight out, obviously it would have more um, detail in it. But I just love how that uh, really thick embossing powder just gives you all of that really fun texture to play with when you've you know got it in your journal. So lots of fun to have with that cogs. Now that's that's the complete cogs border. And, um, and then this one here is actually the little matching eclectic stamp. So you can use both of them together um, and create journal pages. I'm halfway through this one, so obviously I'll go ahead and finish that one. And then I think probably maybe my favourite. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still, uh, still using all of them. But this one here, the bookshelf. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to go crazy for this one because there's lots of book fans out there that have loved our... Uh, bookworm stamp set and our book stack photo stamp so we've now created a border stamp to go with that and this one here it's all old books that you could sit here and color up individually to make a complete bookshelf of books and this one here is designed to go let me just pull out a journal page again for you so it can go across the bottom um, but also if you can stamp it across the side, it will also look like just a stack of books just stacked on top of one another. Um, as you know, if anyone's like me, you've got piles of books around uh, next to your bed and other places of your house. So that's a really fun stamp as well. Okay, so there's our borders. And moving on. Next up, I want to show you our new photo stamps. And I've just got the little headers here because I'll show you why in a sec. So there's our new photo stamps. And we've got the farm truck, the boat shed, the woodlands, and the summer oasis. And the reason I don't have them in little sleeves is because when I uh, get my photo stamps, I generally store them in our storage cases. So they're the same as our rubber stamp sets. Let me show you this. So they're the same case. And so the rubber sets already come in this case. But you can also buy the, um, the cases empty. And so when I get my stamps, I usually um, put them in here. So then when I've got them on my bookcase, they can just sit up alongside my rubber and then they're all exactly the same. And normally I'll label down here. I just haven't got to it yet, but normally I'll put a label on there to say photo stamps and which ones they are. And you'll fit two photo stamps in one case. And also with the smaller stamps, but I'll show you that in a moment as well, you can fit four um, in one of the cases. So I've got all my photo stamps here in the cases. And you can get our cases, um, whoever you buy your darkroom door stamps from will be able to order in the cases for you if you wanted to um, store yours just like this as well. And here's the other, the other two stamps. You can see that they've been pretty well used already. So here's a couple of samples. I haven't done a lot with these stamps just yet, but the boat shed and I've done... Um, just some inking up with these using distress markers again. I love distress markers and um, using watercoloring techniques. Let me give you a little more of a close up of that. So that's really fun. You could do little sunsets and sunrises behind the boat shed and color the boat shed any sort of color you want. You could add some birds and pelicans and anything on there as well. Now this one, I know a lot of people here, especially in um, especially in Australia here, people love farm trucks and, you know, I grew up out on the farm. So this sort of um, imagery really, you know, 
sort of makes me feel nostalgic and um, even though I do get to go out to the farm still because my mum still lives out there so um, yeah and so this is a, a farm truck from the uh, the town I grew up in so this is a, a Tottenham farm truck and um, and so this one here I've just colored that up I've done a crayon resist technique so I've just if I just make that a bit closer you can see I've just done a bit of white crayon just to highlight certain areas and then um, sponged over the top with some distress ink just to uh, give it up a bit of a color so that's the farm truck and then the woodlands this one here I've only got the one little sample with me at the moment but I have had a lot of fun with this one because it's um, it can be it can be like made to be sort of Halloweenish, you know. You can put some little crow birds in there, and um, depending on what colours you use. So this one here, I've just stamped it on the gloss. You can see that little reflection, and I've just stamped it on the gloss. But um, the colouring I've done there is alcohol ink background or an alcohol ink um, yeah background. And so just makes it really simple. Just create your backgrounds and stamp that on top. But again, you could do this with, um, you know, some sunset colorings or, you know, purples and blues and uh, reds and yellows, all sorts of different colors. So you can definitely have a lot of fun with that one. And the Summer Oasis. I haven't, um, I haven't got the card here to show you, but uh, yeah, again, that's for... Lots of different ways you can use that and I'm pretty sure that's going to go really well with our tropical sets that we released in November. Okay, so there's some fun photo stamps. And the photo stamps are all created from photos that I've taken. So um, for me, these are um, our sort of staple stamp release or stamp um, theme because all of it sort of means a lot to me because I know exactly where every photo was taken and I love producing it into stamps to share with you guys so for you to create your own artwork too and bring new life to imagery that I've done um, and speaking of which if you um, are on well obviously you are on Facebook you're watching me now but um, if you haven't joined the Darkroom Door Instagram group um, check it out because we share lots of um, inspiration and all sort of other Darkroom Door fans share their work and you get lots of ideas um, and it's a great way to interact with other people and if you've got a stamp that you know you want some more ideas on you can jump on there and ask some questions and people will share with you what uh, what they've created with it and so it's a lot of fun we have challenges every month as well so you can win stamps so definitely check that out it's Darkroom Door Inspiration there'll be a link to it on our Facebook page okay so while I've been talking about that here's our four new quote stamps and always love quotes you can never have enough of them and so we've got um, I don't have them in order but um, basically we've got a really nice little one here um, whoever you hold in the heart of you is forever and always a part of you um, really really nice for you know lots of different occasions especially if you need sort of sympathy cards as well um, and then this one here this um, I can't remember what really sort of inspired me to do this quote but um, in terms of the event but I know that um, it, I'd just been spending some time with some friends and it was it was, um, I can't remember specifically when it was, but it was, I just remember thinking, yeah, it's really everything in life to me is, you know, the people you meet along the way and the friends we make. And especially in this industry, like I know that I'm leaving uh, on Thursday here to fly over to Phoenix and I get to meet up with, you know, tons of friends that I've met in this industry or, you know, in the creative world and, you know, and it is the friends and I love that quote. So I'm going to be able to use that a lot in um, not only my memory keeping and, and all that but also cards to send to them as well okay this one say yes and see what happens this is um, I mean I'm always a bit of a yes person always up for any sort of fun and challenge in life um, and also this was sort of inspired um, to you know to bring out right at the moment for because you know our teenage son who's you know got lots of options up his sleeve at the moment for the direction of his life he's just 
heading into senior year at school. So he's like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? You know, and I'm like, well, just say yes, see what happens. So then I was like, that is a really cool quote stamp. So we've made it into a quote stamp just to inspire people to, um, yeah, get out there and just see what um, what you can do. And one again for all of us uh, artistic folk. And there, yeah, I am creative. You can't expect me to be neat too. And I'm pretty sure that if we all looked around um, our craft rooms, especially mine yesterday, I mean, I've tied it up here for Facebook Live, but uh, yeah, that's it. It's, it's not really particularly neat in a lot of our art studios. So definitely one for our creative friends if you want to give them a bit of a laugh. Now, I almost forgot to show you the samples that I've done with these ones. Um, so say yes and see what happens. Uh, this one here, I just did this with just using up some scraps basically because I had, um, I've got a drawer full of scraps, I'm sure you guys probably do too, uh, of bits and pieces I've kept from other projects and things like that. So this one's just, um, yeah, embossing folder. But here, this is our circle stencil and um, that I've been playing around with on a jelly plate and uh, just stamped the quote over the top. And that's what I love about these quote stamps is because if you've got lots of scraps, um, like background pieces, you can just stamp the quote over the top, mount it, and then you've got a really quick card. Um, this one here is the friends we meet along the way that help us appreciate the journey. And I've just paired that up with our postmarks background stamp and um, you know sort of like with a journey sort of a theme to it and just some little arrows like you know which way we're we going to go and um, yeah nice quick and easy card and again this one I just kept this one nice and soft so um, and just using like a watercolory background and then just simply just added a few pearls and mounted it onto white so nothing too fancy and nice and quick is what I love about doing uh, some cards they don't always have to be big and elaborate just have a bit of fun, a bit of ink, stamp it over the top, and you're done. And then this one here, I had, um, yeah, just some tags and mucking around here with oxide inks. And again, and just another stencil background. And, you know, obviously with the quote, you can't expect me to be neat. I wanted to make a bit of a mess, so I've splattered some orange paint all over it just at the end, just to give it that sort of messy look. So that's just some fun ways. You can also use them in journals. I think I've only started a page here. Say yes, see what happens. So you can use them in art journals as well. Lots of different options for the quotes. And now it's time for stencils. So if you've got any questions, just um, feel free to ask away. I can't um, read everything while I'm doing this, but I'll definitely jump on after I've finished and answer any questions that you have. Okay, I'm really, really excited about stencils. It's Stencils are funny because well, I've been wanting to release some for ages and we finally released our first set last November and you guys loved them. And I was so thrilled because it means now that we can release more. So we've got four new designs. We've got four large ones and then we've got the four matching small ones. And so we've got um, two patterns and um, sort of like imagery, although the, the uh, sunshine one is still basically a pattern, but it still can be a very big focal point. So we've got some focal point ones and then we've got some basic patterns. Um, and the, on the large one, you'll notice that it's a large design and then it's um, smaller. On our small stencil and the stencils are large enough to cover a complete journal page because they are let me just grab that out so you can see the size there compared to this is like the large dilutions journal so you can see there that they will cover the entire page if you want it to and then the small guys are large enough to cover let me just grab one of these samples just on the back here. So they will be large enough to cover that entire card front if you want it to. And let me show you some samples of these. I don't have all of them here, but I'm excited about the ones that I can get to show you. So these, that's the, uh, the sunshine. That's the small version. And I just love 
how it looks and all the different things that we'll be able to do with that because this one here I've just sponged it with some graduated distress inks um, it also looks really good sprayed let me just see if I can find so this is here this is just like a little piece of watercolor paper that I was mucking around on um, really quick really super quick you just yeah place a stencil down spray it and then you are done with that and I've just paired that up because once I did that I was like wow that's like a really hot summer so I um, used the Tropical Island uh, stamp set and just added the little palm trees and a bit of a quote. So that's a really fun uh, one. And then we've got stars. Now let me see. I was having fun with this one, mucking around with um, stickles and like glitter and things like that. So you can see there, look at that. How cool is that? And this is just with the small stars. And then when you use the large stars, it's, um, yeah, it'll just be even bigger depending on what, what you want to do. So all you do with that is just squeeze out some stickles and scrape it through the stencil and then, yeah, let it dry. Fun stuff. And on the big one, I do have a journal page again because I've been mucking around a bit. I'm trying to do as much... Um, fill as much of this as I can to show in our booth at Creativation. So here we are. This is the large stars that um, I had spritzed the stencil and then basically just pressed the stencil so then the stars were the, uh, the negative part of the page. And if I bring that up, then I kept the stencil on there and swiped the stickles through it. See that? Cool, huh? Love it. And then while I'm here, uh, this is some of the polka dot stencil. I was using paint, so it was basically filling in a lot of that stuff. But um, you can see there how you can just layer and, yeah, use them to layer up. That's that quote that I was just showing you a little while ago, just stamped onto some painted backgrounds. Um, oh, and let me show you more, actually. I'm just going to run through this journal because there's all sorts of things in here. So that's just the butterflies. I'm going to show you the butterflies in a sec, um, how to do it. Oh, here we are, the polka dots. So here's the large polka dot stencil. And you can spritz through it and you can stencil, I mean, sorry, sponge through it and do all sorts of fun things in it. This here, I was mucking around with the gel plate. And look at that texture on that background. That's when I was really falling in love with this stencil. It just gives that, um, you know, it's not a perfect polka dot, obviously, because we've got the distressed little bits in it, but it just gives you a really cool background. And the way I did that is, um, yeah, coloured up the stencil first and then pressed it on, put the paint through. It's sort of a bit difficult to explain, but I'm definitely going to do that... Um, I'll share that in a video. I'll, I'll try and do a little Facebook Live with that at uh, Creativation, but uh, if I don't get that chance to do that, I'll definitely do one as a video. Now, let me just flick through here. Oh, there's the sunshine stencil. How cool is that? So that's the big sunshine. Just placed over the top and then just spritzed through. And it's actually spritzed through with um, one of the new Ranger products. So that's exciting. And um, I've, if you haven't seen all the Facebook Lives Ranger have been doing, go and check those out as well. There's some really cool products coming out. We uh, distribute Ranger here in Australia, so we can get those in for you. And here's the large butterfly stencil. And I'm going to talk about this um, a lot in a second and show you how that butterfly stencil works. So I'll just flip through here first, see if there's, oh, there's more stars. Now this is texture paste. What I've done there is with a bit of texture paste, put that through the stencil and then just let that dry. And it's, um, it's a bit colored because I, the stencil had um, some spray on it, which colored up the texture paste during the time when I was putting it through. So how's that? That is killing two birds with one stone, as they say. Anyway, so um, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, that's not in this release, this stencil. That's the ferns. 
but how cool does that look? Nice little watercolour effect. And it's a wildflower stencil from the last release. Just double checking. Oh, there's the Woodlands photo stamp and the butterflies here that I've been mucking around with. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's for those. But I just want to share with you a quick little um, demo, if I can, on this butterfly stencil because everything else, all the other stencils are... You know, how you see it is how it is. You can spritz it and sponge it and do all sorts of fun stuff. But these two butterfly stencils have a positive and a negative side to it. So what I mean by that is when you get it out of the packet, you'll notice that there will be a negative part and then the two little butterfly parts. So when you... I'll just open this up to show you because they are attached um, just at two little points. I'll bring this up close so you can see. So they're just attached at two little points on the stencil. So just there and over on the top there and also one down the bottom here, one down the bottom there. So you just need to get some fine tip scissors um, or just a little craft knife and just give that a little bit of a snip. And that there will then come apart and then you'll have your um, pieces. And the reason I wanted to do it that way rather than just giving you this um, was so you can do like a two-step stenciling process. And I'll just grab a craft sheet to show you what I mean. Okay, let's grab some supplies. And, and here's the larger version. There's the larger butterfly. Look how big that is. It's yummy. It's all orange because I've been playing around with it. Hang on, let me go around here and I'll get the larger negative version of it. If it's here. Okay. So you can see there, that's how large the big one is. And these little butterflies nest in like so. And again, this is the large butterfly. That's just spritzed. So I've just laid the butterfly down here and then just spritzed it through with some, um, some black dilution spray. And then without wasting the ink, I just pressed, pressed it down because obviously that part will now have ink onto it. It was that stencil that I used and then just press that down and then you get uh, that part as well so you can make really big uh, nice bold butterflies in your journals and projects but let's have a go with this one I just want to show you before I show you the other sample and even though you got your two butterflies on there you can move them around and you don't have to do them top and bottom I'll just check that I've got everything in frame that you guys can see everything okay. Yep, I'll just bring it in a bit closer, or if I can. There we go, so you can sort of see what I'm up to. Okay, I'm just going to tape this down just so it sort of stays in place. You don't need to tape, you can just go for it, but I just want to make sure that that sticks to where I want to stick. So I'm just using some Distress Ink and I'll do a little purple butterfly. So I'm just going to start this one with the Shaded Lilac. It's a um, like a really soft purple. I say soft but mine's obviously very juicy. Now that's right. <laughs> you know I don't want to do the bottom butterfly so I'm just going to mask that over. You can just um, use a post-it note or something but I'm just going to use this washi and show you the effect we can get. Okay, so I'm just going to sponge this really quickly and really softly and that just gives you a bit of a base and the beauty of that is you can just use the butterfly just like this. You don't need to use the other part of the stencil. 
I'm just being very quick and rough. It doesn't really matter. You can see some of my blending marks, but no big deal because now what we'll do is we'll change ink color. Put that back in there. We'll grab a darker version and we'll get the butterfly that matches. Place that inside and it'll just sit perfectly inside and nest in. Grab our other sponge and you just want to hold this butterfly in and then you'll notice the detail on the wings. There's little um, bits and areas there that you can sponge into. And I'll just do the other side. Oh, a bit awkward when I'm <laughs> trying to keep up right for you guys. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to do that pretty rough and quick. So when you take out the butterfly, you've got that. So you can see there the detail. I'm just going to do a little bit of shading around the edge, just slightly, just using this darker ink. That'll just give that little butterfly a little bit of a dark edge just to match with its insides. You only want to be really gentle with this. Okay, there we go. Once you peel off your stencil because the washi tapes are removable tape here so peel off your stencil and there you have a nice butterfly so you've got the option of that butterfly and then we've got the different design as well so here's a card that i created earlier <laughs> and you can see here how i've used that other butterfly underneath and this one on top so it just gives you some fun ways to use it. Obviously, like I said before, you can use it as a mask and spray over the top or sponge over. Um, if you just wanted to use this, let me just grab that tool again. If you just wanted to sponge around the edge. I'm just being really rough, but you can see here how you can get that mask as well. So you can get the ghost image. So there's lots of fun, fun ways to use all these new stencils, new stamps, everything, lots of fun. So I'm just, um, I'll just put a lot of these out just to give you one last look. Oh, let me just zoom that back out a bit. And again, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Now, all of these uh, new products will be shipping to the stores from the 29th of January uh, so if you, you can pre-order now so with um, uh, if you'd like to place your pre-orders with our stockists um, or on our Darkroom Door website you're welcome to um, you're welcome to do that so yeah ask for them at your local stores as well let them know what um, what you'd like to get in so then they know what they'd like to order that really helps them out so um, um, yeah, so do that and keep an eye on our Facebook page because throughout uh, this weekend we'll be doing a lot more demonstrations and videos. We'll share a lot of photos. We'll do as many videos as we can, but uh, we'll just see how that goes. But uh, thank you very much for joining me today on this impromptu little Facebook Live. Hopefully this has given you a little few ideas on our new stamps and we're really excited and can't wait to share more with you so thank you for joining me and i'll catch you later bye <laughs>